Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. On what it was previously, but we need to start getting some food in for these animals. So first up, the chickens, they've actually run out, so that's going to be our first priority. Let's go to that one. We run round here. All the way around this side. I will scrape up the 16 litres right there. That'll keep them going just for a second. There we go. 16 litres of wheat. There, I've rescued the chickens. They're no longer starving to death. And then I'm going to go over to here. And I'll run in a little bit of water there. That took a minute or two just to fill that one up, but the water is now full. Let's jump down to here. Water on there is almost full. Uh, water on here is, again... Almost completely out. I'm going to run round and I'm going to put the cow's water going again. And then I'm going to go over to the horses. I'm going to put their water going. So we go to you. Yours isn't going to take very long. Yours will just... Wait a minute. Oh, that's still running. Their water was still on. That hadn't even stopped. That was just still going. And... Next up, we got the horses over here. Now, they're pretty low on water right now, so let's just do that. There we go. See that in the trough there? It's pretty cool the way it does that. I do like the way it does that. So, water for the chickens is now full. Water for the cows is just about full. And water for them is filling up quite nicely. And we need to put in some hay and a little bit of oats and stuff like that. That's, that's, that's fine. We can do that. Uh... Going backwards seems to be the option here. Now, next up, I want to go and get a little bit more grain because those chickens have only got 16 litres, which isn't going to be enough, which means that their quality is going to deteriorate. We may have damaged the chickens a little bit. That may have been a mistake on our part. They're on 84% health. I think they're all right. 397 litres of barley left. All right, let's take some wheat then. I want a full load. Now run this over. Dump this in. And then that is the chickens taken care of. We've rescued them. We're not rescued so much as it's just done what we're supposed to do in the first place. And then we've got the cows we'll go and do next. We can just scrape up that bit of side. So they've got a little bit of grass in front of them. I'm just going to bring that forward a bit like that. Because otherwise what happens is this one... Makes a great big heap of the grain in front of the chicken pen, which is not really what we want it to do. Okay, I got 2,000 litres of grain. Well over 2,000 litres of grain has just gone into there. 2491. Oh, this pen requires 46,000 litres of food to feed its animals for a year. That is a fair bit. That is a fair slice of food. All right, go and dump this last 160 litres. Fortunately, the combine is going to supply us with ample feed very, very soon. Um, also, fortunately, the animals have two days' worth. Whenever we feed them, whenever we do all of this work, they get two days' worth of food. So we don't have to do this every single day, which I'm quite glad about. I am a little bit sorry that they haven't done what they did last time. They did three days last time with Seasons. This time they decided to only do two to try and push you towards having to do it every day. Now, I realize that with animals in real life, yes, you do do it every day. But as far as gameplay is concerned, it does make it a little bit more tedious doing it every day. So at least... You know, I am glad at least that it is every two days rather than every day. Um, that does make it a little better. But personally, what I would like to have seen is a step away from every set number of days and instead do it every sort of set amount of the season that has gone past. So at the moment, we know that this is set at two days per portion of a season so one season is three months which means that each set of days is only a set amount of time um we've got early summer midsummer and late summer so each of those sections early mid and late summer is one month 
That's how long each of those. You have 12 of those sections, that's one month. Um, yes, I know in real life you certainly wouldn't be feeding your animals every month. Uh, only once a month. But I, I still think it would be a, a better option overall if that's what the setting was. you got to feed your animals roughly once every... Um, you know, it, it basically gives you one full as uh, one full month um plus a little bit so it's it's a month plus a little bit extra uh so that you don't have to sort of back up a little bit each day you get a month plus a little bit more and that i think would work really well that that's well what we got here at the moment works really well and to be honest it wouldn't make any difference to us whatsoever because that's what we already do because we've got our month on two days it would make no difference to us. It, it wouldn't affect us. But I would still like to see it done like that. I, th I think that would be quite a cool thing. So if you had it set on three days per quarter, um, or uh, three days per month, then you'd only have to feed your animals every three days, or, or basically every three and a half days, really. That's all you would need to do. Right, that should now be completely full. And if I do that as well, that will grab it. And then we can put the rest of this hay over in for the cows. And that will keep them going as well. So I'll swing you in over here. And then once I've done that, I need a little bit of oats for the horses. That'll be about it. Undo that onto there. And then 8,000 for this bottom one. And that one's gone in as well there. Chickens are all done. Perfect. Cows over here. I could probably put in another stack of three for them. Just to keep them going properly. They've got their water in there now. And these in here, 240, 247 and 323. The money's going down. They're completely full on there. And we need a little bit on the oats. We could also do some straw in for the horses. Which means we're going to need a straw blower. We'll deal with that later. How, have we got oats? Have we got any left? We've got 5,000. 5,000. We, we, so we do have a little bit. I'll go and get three more bales of hay. Drop these in for the cows. That's going to keep the cows nicely topped up. And then that's going to be about it. Just get the stuff for the horses. Then we need to go and get the fertilizer going. We need to get fertilizer onto the grass field. We've had a growth stage so far on the grass field. And if we have a look at the grass fields over here... Fruit types, grow, hang on, I need to go and actually activate the grass. And then I look here, right, this is growth at the moment on here, which is, it's actually that one. So another growth stage at the end of the year, we'll put it to that one. Um, I think that's it. I don't think you get any more than that. I, unless there's one at the first stage of autumn. When you go from early autumn to mid-autumn, there may be another growth, but that's only going to take it to there. The big problem I've got with seas... The way that seasons and grass used to work is that you've got a full cut and a part cut. I think now you can only get, even if you, everything's planted perfectly right at the beginning of the year, I think you only get one cut of grass. Um, I, because of the way the game works with grass, I think you only get one. Don't quote me on this. I could still be quite wrong on that. Because of the way that Seasons does sometimes skip steps completely, it may do the same on here. Right, so the cows are now completely full of hay and they're not taking that part bale right there. So we'll go and put this one back and... That's the cows completely filled up. And then all i got to do is one more little thing, which is start doing the, um, uh, the, the, the fertilizer. Fertilizer, that's the one I'm looking for. And so we can get a better yield on the grass, regardless of whether it's this year or next year. But from what I've seen so far with time-lapse on Seasons, it looks like, regardless of how it goes you only get one you can only get one cut on your grass per year that's it you, you don't get any more um although i am playing with a geo on my time lapse um using the midwest geo which does make things behave differently i don't know if it affects the way that some crops grow and i think geos do though 
So it could be down to that. Now, I'm not using a Geo on this series. I've just got the bog standard, which means that if we've got any chance of sort of finding out what might be different. That's dancing around a bit, isn't it? That's definitely just sliding the tiniest little bit. Tail end of that one there is moving. I didn't leave it like that. Um, so, yeah, we're... It'll be interesting to see if grass does behave the same in this series as it does in the time-lapse series. It might be completely different. We, we, we may end up with something completely new and unique and, and different altogether from what I've got at the moment. This bit right here, this big sort of lump right here, thinking we should level that out. I might do some work on that at some point because I don't really like that it sticks up like that. It's quite a big lump on there. We go and put these oats in. We don't need to put that many in. Just a few. And ditch that there. If you all tell me that you don't want cows in that bit right over there, then I might go and take the seed drill and just drill the grass back in over that little triangle over there. I don't like that that's there. That shouldn't be there. We'll get rid of that. Tidy that up. Make it look a little bit neater and tidier if we can. Yeah, see that right there? It's only a little bit of a bump. We'll wait until we've decided what's happening with the cows, because I'm going to be moving that, so I'm going to do some more work in the yard anyway. That would make more sense from a slightly realistic point of view that we would move... We, we would sort of do that levelling work at the same time as doing any other work that we're going to do in the yard, so we're not sort of stuck just on one bit. That is definitely dancing around. I'm going to leave it. it. It can do its dance. I'm not going to interfere with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to go racing over this way. And we're going to grab that bad boy over there. We're going to spread some fertilizer. And what I'm hoping is that after spreading some fertilizer, I can use up some of the fertilizer that we've got left in the yard over there. That That's, that's my dream, ladies and gentlemen. That is the dream. We want to use up some of that that is right there. Not going to use it up right now. We're going to go out here. It would have been better if I could have done this yesterday. I should have thought about this already, doing this fertilizer. If I'd thought about it already, not yesterday, the day before, just after picking up the hay. If I'd thought about it then, then we wouldn't have this problem with... Like, the grass has already grown once. It would have been better if I could have allowed it to grow a little bit more as well before going around and doing this. What is the width for spread on this? Is it eight, Is it like 18 metres? I think it's like 30 metres. I need to have a look in a minute, find out what the width of the spread is, because if it's something like 18 metres, then we could. Uh, it's probably 24 metres. I'm just wondering if we could use that course play course that we did that I, I loaded and then saved. I actually... Might, I don't think I can. I think this is way, way wider. And I don't want to waste the fertilizer. I think we'll leave that. But maybe I could use this. And we could build ourselves... We could do a new course. And we'll just see if it actually works. There's an interesting thought. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it over on field three. And see if we can make another course play course using this one. And... See if we can actually get it to, to spread automatically using course play all the way across the entire field. There. That should keep everybody happy. All the people that like course play that want me to do the auto magic stuff. Uh, yeah, we, we can try it like that. Let's back you up this way a little bit. You know what I forgot to do? As I forgot to unfold this one. It's got... You, you press unfold and it um, widens out like that. Look, see? There. Much better. It doesn't change the width of the actual spreader. Uh, it doesn't change the spread width, but it does. It changes the width of the tracks. What's going in between them? I'm assuming that that is a particular set width or something. Maybe it's the same as um, what you'd have if you had row crop tires on or something like that. But we don't use row crops with this particular tractor. This tractor doesn't have any such thing. This one just has what it has. It just has these big old tracks, which. Actually, for most crops, for a large portion of the growth, 
wouldn't make any difference. It's only after the crop has started to form the head on it. Um, wheat, barley, oats, anything like that. Um, and canola as well once they've started to flower. It's only once you get up to that kind of stage that you do more damage to the crop where just by using standard wheels. And that's why you would switch over to using the row crop tires instead. But up until that point doesn't really make any difference. You can drive over the field without causing any major problems whatsoever. I'll just come down to the end down here and grab that little bit there. I've got weeds coming through on here, which strikes me as a little bit odd, because I thought that weeds were gotten rid of completely on grass. I don't think that that was a problem. Now, somewhere here, I think I've got... Soil composition. Oh. I thought that I'd uh, covered all of it. It does look like we don't get a bonus fertilization stage either. Uh, well, I, I, you do with grass anyway, don't you? So, yeah, I guess it's going to do it like that. Uh, what I mean by bonus fertilization stage is with the uh, crops when you plant them with seasons, if you follow your crop rotation and you get the right, you get the right bonuses on it, you actually get extra, you get a little bit more, uh, you, you get like one free fertilization stage. So they've gone back to the 17 version of fertilizer where you've got to put three coats of fertilizer on for seasons. Uh, but if you do your crop rotations correctly, you've only got to put two rounds of fertilizer on because they give you one for free when you're planting your crops, so long as you follow the right rotations. If you don't follow the right rotations and you just sort of spam the same crop all the time, you don't get that bonus and so you've got to go either and put extra fertilizer on or you've got to um, take a yield hit. It's one or the other. Um, I mean, you'll still, you do still end up taking a slight yield hit anyway if you get the crop rotations wrong that we've already seen, well, at least we have with the planner. Um, so you, you sort of got that bit in it as well and... I do think that's quite a cool thing. It does seem to work out quite well. Now, when I had calculate current field edge, I didn't have a field number on this one. Right, I went into here. So we go to here like this, and I went like this. So I had course play control like that. And then fertilize and seeding. Oh, that's the only one that I've got. Calculate current field's edge path. So if I don't do that, if I just go here, I don't calculate the current field's edge path, and I simply go with course generation instead, I got field 3 user currently loaded course right there. If I calculate the current field's edge path, I don't understand what that bit is doing. What difference does that make? Field 3 user currently loaded course. Does it still use that if I if I do it and I don't do anything else? Um, headland, I'm going to do one headland pass. I'm just going to work on it like that. Bypass islands deactivated. It's got a 36 meter spread. I'm going to drop that down to a 35 and a half. Actually, I'm going to drop that down to 35 meters just for the curves and everything. Just to make it a little bit easier. Um, starting direction automatic, generate field course, and it's done it. Okay, so it's going to start pretty much where I am right now. And then it will run through. So I've got this one here, and I can save this course, field 3 fertilizer, like that. That's all I should need to do. I just let it carry on, and it'll do it itself. Return to first point, course generation, stop at last point, drive course. You get rid of that. It started spreading the fertilizer. And it's spreading out to the very edge of the field. So it goes to that. Why is it not showing all of the, the lines? It was showing them before. Because that's all the points. Field 3. 
Refill until automatic from course max 24 miles an hour from recording. Oh, show hide all points. Start end. Ah. Right, so you got you choose whether you want them here or not. So it's entirely a choice if we want them here or not. And you've got this wide width on it over here. Well, it's actually working. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm sort of sitting and I'm watching it, but it is actually working. Now, you can see where all of these points are. It's going through them. So we're on to number 88, 89, 90 of 451 points that it's calculated across the entire field. So this is, it, it's working. And I just needed to set it to field number three. That's, that's the bit that I was doing wrong. That over there, that field, I'm not going to do that with course play. Some people have said that I should be using course play, but I'm not going to. I'm, gonna, I'm not using course play over in that field. I'm going to use the AI vehicle extension. Because with combines, the AI vehicle extension was originally designed for harvest work. And it was only later that they added tractors as an extra. There are some things with tractors that the AI vehicle extension struggles with. We know that. I've been over that before. Particularly articulated machines. It, it does find those to be a little bit difficult. But overall, it's I'm pretty confident that we've got the right course of action right here using... Now, this bit here is slowing down quite a lot to go around the corners and do this. So we're actually using... Like, if I was doing this for lime, not sure it would necessarily be a good thing. have to see. Anyway, that bit up over there, uh, I don't want to use course play to do it. I want to use the AI extension because that one, it was designed for combines. And I, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. And some people have expressed concern that with all the patches we've got in the field plus the island, the AI extension may struggle with it. I don't know yet. I genuinely don't know. I'd like to wait and see, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of we'll, we will find out. Uh, right now, we've got we I've got course play running. For those of you that really wanted course play, I've even put the lines up so you can see what it's doing. You can follow it along, and we're going to watch this one get round the field. Just finish these bits off. Um, yeah, I think we can. We we will watch this field work, and then I got the other little one over there. I'll go and do that myself in a minute. Once we've done this bit, that field over there. We're going to need to plow that one. But before we can plow that field, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to go and do some work on leveling that field out. Okay, so we're wasting a lot of fertilizer on this. It does work with the fertilising, don't get me wrong, it is doing it, but it does seem to be wasting quite a bit. It comes to there, is it going to actually fertilise? It, it is fertilising all of it, so it is getting to the right point so it can fertilise all of it, so we've at least got that bit. Uh, but that one over there, yeah, I'm going to have to do a fair bit of work to level that field out before I can get started on doing the ploughing. Then we're going to have to drive a course round with the plow so that we can get that set up and then i will start doing plowing using course play and i'm actually going to start plowing some fields in autumn let's just let that one keep going for a minute and we're going to zoom out here so we've got a nice second coat of fertilizer going so this right here is where we did our grass and i'm going to use course play to turn that field into a new field it's going to be one big field right there that's what that's plan one now, the other thing that I was talking about previously was turning this up here into a real... Oops. Turning this into a big field. I don't own that bit yet, but adding it... I've got to stop doing that. It's this bit here I need to click. Um, adding in this piece up here so that I can extend that one up. And I was also going to extend it over here and, and sort of take in another big chunk of land over here and really make this into a mega field. Quite a lot of you expressed delight at the thought of me doing this and thought that that was a good thing. And some of you expressed concern that maybe we shouldn't just have one big field. The other bit that I was looking at is this over here. Maybe I should plough this bit up. 
So if we remove the trees from anything in the middle, and then I can go around and I can plow all of that up, that could work quite nicely. We'll have another nice, lovely big field over there. We've already got field four as a fairly big field anyway. And then if I go over here, I can plow up a chunk around over there and do something with that. Um, we've got another big field. But I could just set course play going on that. If we clear everything in the middle, and then course play will be the one that deals with it. So we're we going to have to make sure that we don't have any bits that are kind of left out and left over. So as this is still doing its work, and I can't be bothered to just sit and watch that, I'm going to go over here. And we're going to let that one carry on and do its work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into landscaping and we're going to go over here. Because I've got a couple things that I want to do. And not planning to put the cattle pens up over here. So this line all the way down here, this is what we've got to level out. So that we can turn this field into an actual active field. Um, then the other bit that I was looking at was... This piece in here. All right, it's this chunk here over to this point. So I want to remove those trees. We'll leave those trees there, but these trees in the middle. And then over this side as well, more of this will come out, which means up to that point, I'll take out that tree and that tree, and then extend this up here we'll get rid of that island up there those trees would be removed and we will go sort of out over to the edge over here and all the way up to something like this over here and that would remove that bit the other piece we were looking at is this over here now i've got a road over there and i've got a road over here but what we would do is take out those trees there hang on a minute one thing I do need to do. We don't have that bit up the top. That bit right there. 190,000 to buy that bit. So as we don't have that bit. It would be up to this road here. So we remove those trees. And we come over here. That one can probably stay on that corner. And then I'll probably leave that little patch of trees right there. And maybe that one as well. We come over and sort of just take it in around there. Take that one out. Take out that tree there and then come right across here. Leave that tree on that corner, but take out... No, 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 no. Look. That road comes right into here. That's a placeable bit of road there. So we'd actually have to bring the edge of our field sort of in over there. Across that front bit there. And then over to there. We'd want to keep those curves reasonable. And then that bit there we don't own, so it would come up to here. That tree would go. And then it comes up to the edge, and it sort of goes all the way along here. So um, that wouldn't be very difficult. Doing that bit would be relatively straightforward. You're nearly done. I don't see any problems with that. This is going to be our first one, is this one over here. This, this is what we're going to need to work on first, is, is removing this. But I'm going to do that now, because the cows have still got priority. There's one other thing I want to look at. Loan over here. I've got 1.5 million in loan, and I've still got the ability to take out yet more loan. So we may go and actually do that. Now, how are we doing with our fertilizing? We've gone all the way back down to the corner. I'm not going to lie. I'm impressed with how well it's done. Once we, you know, once I figured it out, once you'd all explained... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.